I blow a T-Plex. Your boy, you see next how that mag and shoddy work. Can't rid this smell with bath and body works. It's sad and probably worse. First, the chroma spit. Wise guys do drive-bys and don't own the whip. Time comes, divine sons need a song to rip. Thugs and harmony, cool, I got a bone to pick. Vlogs, battles, music videos, interviews, and much more. Pushing the culture forward. No Mercy TV. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy. Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV.com, man. Oh my god. That algorithm bull is algorithming right now. Jesus. Yo, first off, make sure I hit the like button, subscribe, turn the notifications on, all that good stuff, man. We about to be on everything moving. You feel me? Um, Easy. Ooh, man. This is a hell of a smoke screen being thrown out right now. And this is why I say smoke screen, right? We know what we all waiting on easy to speak on. Niggas want to hear about that Papu shit, man. You feel what I'm saying? Whether it did happen, whether it didn't happen. And there's a lot of things that are causing people to piece together their own story, right? You feel me? From, um, you know, Easy having not gotten on camera yet. Uh, people coming out and saying that stuff happened like it's so many different reasons why if something didn't happen then parties involved should come out and say it didn't happen you feel me especially someone like easy who has a voice in the culture has his own platform he he gives his opinions on a lot of shit that's been going on um Somebody who also reps the Chrome 23 brand, you know, promotes it and, you know, stuff like that. I would think if something didn't happen, then it's like, just get on camera and be like, nothing happened. I'm good. Whatever, whatever. And then just, you know, keep it moving. And don't leave the speculation up to the people. You understand? Like, if you think about most of the situations that have happened in battle rap, right? Niggas, you know usually come and clear it up in some kind of way right so that is no question there's no uh people coming up with their own conspiracy theories and you know stuff like that because you know i've i've seen some of the most outlandish things being said about this uh pat post thing like <laughs> stupid shit the stuff as far as oh Smack paid Papoose to do it Because you know Back in the day Papoose used to be on Smack DVD Like stupid shit like that You feel what I'm saying So It's like How do you combat that Right And you combat it By simply coming out And saying This is What happened You feel me So um, More and more every day It's looking like Something did happen You get what I'm saying So you know, and, and I'm just going off of the, the vibes of the people. I'm going off of what I'm seeing on, on comments and on YouTube uh, posts and, you know, stuff like that. Like, people just want to know what happened. You feel me? So, it's, it's, it's crazy. But, um, Easy decides today to just go at everybody that has something to say. He went at Danny, you know, told him that uh, it was people in Philly that if he gave the word, they'd have jumped on Danny, um, he went at uh, Twerk, he went at Geechee, he went at Do. he's going at Hustle, and it's like, bro, what the hell is going on, you feel me, and it, it, should, it looked like Hurricane Dude was just like, minding her business, and then Easy just come out of nowhere, and you know, e even that situation in itself is like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And what we're going to get from this <clears throat> is like the typical high school battle rap shit. Like, you know, a whole bunch of messy ass personal stuff. You got, um, you know, Hustle saying he drove out uh, seven hours to see her and then drove another two hours to a studio session, like all kinds of stuff. So that's the stuff that's, you know, getting thrown out there that I'm pretty sure next time Easy goes live that, you know, he's pretty much going to be discussing. You feel me? My thing is, I don't think this is going to be enough 
to stop people from asking about this bad bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? And I, 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 I just, like, we know how this battle rap game go. You feel me? Like, you don't want it to be a thing where, like, sometime down the line, footage comes out or somebody who really was there and is really super credible comes out and says, yo, this is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I do feel like um, partially the, the, the easy's on the shot clock right now, but at the same time, this quote-unquote diversion, I guess you want to call it, that he just threw out there, that's going to be a little bit of something to like, you know, for the people to quote-unquote nibble on for a while, but after that dies down, people are going to want to get back to knowing about, you know, the whole Papoose thing, and then the fact that you have like um, big outlets that picked up the story. I think I seen it on like media takeout. I seen all hip hop sets on the body. So, you know, th this is a story that people want confirmation on and eventually, you know, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna speak up. You get what I'm saying? But um listen man, I just got my popcorn ready. I'm sitting back, I'm enjoying the show. You feel what I'm saying? This this is just a another day in battle rap. But listen, easy took it upon himself to just go and then shoot back at everybody who has something to say without clearing up what it is that they were all speaking on because I, I really think the only thing that all these people have in common is that they were, you know, being petty in terms of this whole Papu situation. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, Geechee and Turk had a bunch of sarcastic tweets about it. Danny was making jokes about it. Hustle was speaking on it. Um, I'm not exactly sure if if Do um, said anything in reference to it. If she did, I didn't see it. But I guess Easy for some reason got an issue with her too now. So, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see how things pan out over these next few days. But man, I, I looked on Twitter and my timeline was looking like World War Three. I was like, damn, it's like Marvel versus Capcom when you know you. you both people bring out the fighter and the enemy bring out the, the tag partner and then everybody just like going at it like it just looks crazy right now. You feel what I'm saying? But um I'm locked in. I'm definitely, you know, watching to see what goes on. And um yeah, I guess as this story uh develops, then you know, y'all will be seeing more of me speaking on it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So, you know, um salute to everybody. This this is crazy. But um, you know, this is another day in the office, man. It's another day in battle rap. So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll holler at y'all soon, man. No Mercy, Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV com. I got some other shit I'm going to speak on this week, too. Something that kind of just, like, found its way into my inbox. And, um, y'all are going to want to. Y'all are going to want to see this. <laughs> you feel me? I'm out of here. I'll holler at y'all soon.